right then and there, they just invalidated us. Yeah. And then, like, I noticed how, like, she tried to switch the subject because we were talking about, like, our, like, to read this off. Yeah. to read this off. Mental health and stuff. But then she changed yeah. it over to, like, safety and all that. And then she was just being ignorant, like, Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, she was missing. Yeah, it just went right over her head. This everything leads to suspensions. Yeah, there needs to be a different way to handle. And it's like things. basic yeah. respect between adults and us mature pre-adults because honestly, like even if we're like okay, age-wise we're kids, but it's like like human-wise, like the respect isn't there equally. And then they always talk about us giving respect, respect this, respect that. But it's like when you try to talk to us or even try to make something clear, your respect isn't there. But you expect that from us. Her even talking about that first grader, that that didn't even happen in Buffalo, and it, it was it's very sad, but. Why are you bringing that up when we're trying to tell you how this is affecting us here in Buffalo? It doesn't make sense. Can I just say so wait, I'm wait, about wait, to wait, say, wait, I wanted to say one thing too. Let me say something too. Say, like, I know that like they said like, oh, we couldn't hear what you guys were talking about, but I just want to kind of put it on the record that I did put a conclusion to what my group was talking about. Yeah. I did say, well, Sam Gun was, Sam Gun was the security and this is what he was doing and mm -hmm. this is what Yaya said. And I also made it very clear what we were asking for, which was security to sense our students' feelings and actually do something about it. So I never understood why it was said that, oh, we couldn't hear and we didn't understand. Because even though you couldn't understand and hear the students while they were acting it out, I still, you know, put a conclusion to it, and I was loud and clear. I there's absolutely no reason why they should have said we couldn't hear you. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to ask you the bullying thing. Our whole thing wasn't to say, oh, stop bullying. It wasn't. That wasn't the point. It was to um, to approach the students with a trauma informed approach. That was literally what we're trying to get at. Just because not every student or most students are in a thirty one thousand. People, like student district, we have to have bullying, like bullying just exists, that's not the point. The point is to bring to light that that may be happening, you don't know what's happening. So, so to approach that in a way that's going to like make them feel like humans. Yeah, I want to say something. Uh, I wanted to say that uh, we as students understand the safety uh, outside the school is our responsibility. And I understand uh, security's per reasonings and why they enforce so it's like securities, but the whole thing we did wasn't about uh, how they did things. It was like, it was more about us like going inside the building and how we were treated inside the building. Yeah, it was, it was more about like seeing our point of view and understanding us from where we stand. Yeah. Yeah. Just the, the, the only thing that I wanted to add to, and just put this on the record, None of my young people like said that they didn't feel like physically safe. That wasn't the point. Nobody went up there and said that. It was more so about the social, emotional health and well-being and the missed opportunity that's present for the security guards who are all, often the first per people that our young people see when they come in the door. So it's a missed opportunity for security support staff to be able to just check the temperature of the young person and see how they're doing and be that first friendly face when they walk into the building. So if you weren't saying that the metal detectors uh, were bad, if you notice in the second skit, they actually mentioned like, oh, don't you like these new scanners? They're less invasive. So that also shows that we recognize the steps that they're taking and we cool with that. We not against that. We not saying get rid of the scanners. We not saying don't check us. We not saying don't do none of that. We saying when you check us, also check how we doing too. Don't just check our book bag, check our spirit, check our heart. And, and that's it and that's all. And if you check that something is wrong, please have some resources that you can point us in the right direction to get that support. So that way I, I can show up and be focused for my academics and I'm not stressed out and worried about the things that I had to deal with before I got to school. So we just want to illustrate the missed opportunity um, that's present for the school support staff just to check in with our students and see how they're doing. That's it and that's all. Mm -hmm. When the when like the you know kids were doing the skit, um, I noticed that some of the members were kind of like already not paying, not acknowledging it. They were shaking their head no. One of them was on their phone, looking back and forth, not really paying attention. So I feel like that's why some of them didn't really so-called hear it or really didn't get the point or understand it because it's like you didn't really 100% be there presently and look at us. One of them, some of them didn't even like look at us to turn around. You was on your phone, like that's disrespectful. But you want us to listen to you, give you that. Like I feel like that was just rude.
Like you did acknowledge like you were like, there, but were you there? But then you guys say like they're talking about we want to hear the kids, want to help the kids, but you did that. You just proved our point tonight. It's literally. Like, and I just like, one thing I also want to add is like it wasn't just about security; it was also about suspensions. It was also yeah. it wasn't just okay. Yes, the security thing has obviously been a big issue right now, and because of whatever. But it was also way more to what we were talking about. It was also about um, how kids are fairly suspended, how they're not even talked to about like, why they were late. And that ends up leading to them missing out on their education. I don't think that's fair, especially when it's not their fault. I don't feel like that's that's not that's not justice. That's not right. Did anybody not say something that wants to say something? Right. Right. Right over here. Oh, I want to say that I didn't like how she said that, that we had to sign up like by ourselves. Some kids like don't want to. They want to have someone to support them also. So I feel like like I said, like some people are introverts and they want to have someone to back them up. Like, that can't speak for themselves when they can't. All right. Oh, also. <laughs> yes, yes. You're going to be yep. oh. <laughs> They made it seem like uh, this, uh, people were trying to, like, enforce their decision on us, but mm -hmm. we came up with that role, and right. we decided to say what we wanted to say. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Thank you. Well put. Thank you. Anything you want to say, brother? <laughs> um, well, I'm going to go back in there, and I'm going to wait for some... Uh, Board of Education member so I can grill them. Okay. So, so thank you guys.